Hi people, so uh, welcome back to a little bit of uh, Ixion, Ixion. Um, so yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make something clear. What happened uh, since the last game was I realized that it's, it's gonna take a long time for the the uh, tech lab to sort of like research the black box, right? This one. So I had to go back to one of my saves. And I had to, uh, it took me about an hour and a half to the just replay the whole thing, scared. right? And I'm probably gonna put, you know, some flashbacks because I did record a video of the gameplay. And I guess uh, roughly what happened was um, we managed to go to the a Outer Hope and research the black box. And then. I think a mission opened up in Jupiter. Um, if I could show it right now, you could probably read what happened there. And and now um, I have a science ship that is in Jupiter. So what happened in Jupiter was I think we managed to find the Ixion engine, which is the engine needed to sort of like go to the next level, right? And I think it has something to do with the, with you know, the UN, I'm not sure. You, you can read it over here. I forgot what happened, cause, cause I was just, you know, speed, uh, speed gaming through it, right? And and that's settled. Um, so basically, I did Outer Hope stuff first, cause I want to get that out of the way. I don't want, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to have no option to progress. Uh, and and now. As you can see here, the layout is a bit different and I've, I've, because the save game was a bit empty and I've made the sector one into industry and pretty much the same thing. I have two docking bays and, and I turned this into sort of like a, a food sector, sector two. And it's going well so far, I think. I hope we don't get stuck again. And what's happening here? But yeah, as you can see here, we need workers. In. I keep sending, you know, population to sector two, but I guess they're not sending workers. Yeah, that's what happened. So now, yeah, I mean, I was supposed to be plundering the system uh, straight from the last save game, but that did not happen. So it's fine. It's this side. Okay. This is a game pretty much a lot of times. Like sometimes you mess it up and you just got to go back to the last save and it's best uh, practice to to save a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on now? I think we need some silicone. So I've built. Okay, do I have polymer? I might need to build some ships, um, like a transport ship and a mining ship. And yeah, so I've kind of re re redid my research stuff a little bit. I've also researched the DLS center, which you can do policies with. And immediately I set propaganda to uh, intense. And what it does is, you know, it increases stability by two. And yeah. And like we did the last time we built um, alternative life center in each sector. So this is because because I'm s sort of like halting the, the, the progress, people are going to be pissed. So I got to add into the stability points, right? Anyway, I got a new ship. We're going to. Yeah, let's get all the iron we can get. Um, and. This one ship is going to collect all the other uncollectibles. Stuff that you just don't collect. And, but 
but the three ships are gonna focus on iron. But let me let me have a think. Do we really need that cargo or that much mining ships? Just build one anyway. And I also need to focus on carbon. So yeah. Let's get this one ship to just focus on mining no carbon. And I think Yeah. I haven't been probing. <laughs> Let's probe some carbon, but I don't think there's carbon in this uh, uh system. Yeah. There's some but not a lot. So maybe one of my has occurred in the tycoon. So, I'll show you my current research. Oh, it's finished. I just researched accelerated growth for insect farm. So, and now another thing that I did early is this the tech lab assistant promotion, which increases the production rate of science to three units every five cycles. So, yeah, I did that early. So now I'm creating a lot of science units, but I'm not researching yet. Uh, I'm going to save that for later yeah, to figure out what I need the most. And I'm thinking that at one point I'm going to have to do crop farms. Okay. In this sector, because we're not going to, but in order to do crop farms, uh, I think you got to research a few other things. Let me check. Right. You can't just simply... I think you gotta have a fusion station. Uh, kind of. So yeah, crop farm should be for next time. I'm thinking next. Uh, now, we're gonna do our original plan. Master plan, which is to, uh, you know, plunder this whole system. And especially, especially alloy, because uh, there's a lot of iron in this system. Carbon, not so much. Okay. And uh, I'm just checking to see what do I need. Well, right now, everything's going okay. And if you look here, to proceed, I would have to go to Jupiter, right? So yeah, that means I have to park uh, the Tycoon in Jupiter and I need to build batteries. Um, I have four batteries here. I'm using 400. Total capacity 400. Do I need four batteries? Total capacity 400. So, how do we see? Um, oh, I can't be counting. So you can't see it by sector, can you? I have four batteries in sector one. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll deal with that later. Okay. So I think I might need to build more insect farm. I don't know if it fits. It kind of does fit. So I could build probably three more. Like over here. Right here, here, here. Right, let's do that. You know, you can build buildings and you don't need to use them yet. You could just uh, disable them if you don't want to use them yet, right? But this means that this whole sector is going to be full. And I'm just going to have space for 
lots of batteries. Maybe just two batteries is enough. Um, I'm gonna turn these off first. Because I don't need them yet. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be building. Right now I have four solar panels. Set one, uh, set two, and set one. So I'm gonna be building solar panels next next time. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for these alloys to fill up and I'm gonna turn it off. No more resources available to mine. Yeah, I, I need to multitask this probing. Cause yeah. Because I've got two mining ships, so it's going to be mining in no time. I'm thinking maybe I just need one mining ship, right? Yeah, I should have. Do I have polymer? I do have polymer, so I'm just going to build another transport cargo ship. And we're just producing right now. <laughs> we're just mining and transporting cargo, stuff like that. Yeah. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Okay. So yeah, once we have all the alloy in the world, <laughs> then maybe I can move to the next uh, system. I could go to Jupiter and attach like the Ixion engine uh, to my uh, Tycoon station. And we can go to the next system. Okay. A probe has completed its scan. I'm actually gonna send most of the alloy to uh, uh, sector two because we have more space to build the stockpiles because we're producing producing food here sending him to here over here we're producing all kinds of stuff because this is like the manufacturing place right sending him here all right this guy we're going to pick up all the iron probe has completed its scan. that we can and uh i think An we're gonna has occurred in the type i should produce a bit more food this is these are standing by for you know the the cryo parts, and we have some cryo parts we need to transport. So let's get those. Um, yeah, let's go get those transported. Okay, and we have iron over here, just waiting to be, yeah, to be sucked in, and converted to alloy. So yeah. The plundering is... The plunderer is plundering. And... I mean, it's not gonna be a lot of... Uh, Story-wise, it's not gonna be a lot of... Action, but... I hope you... As I do... Get the satisfaction from plundering resources. Like, it just feels good good to be sucking resources <laughs> from the system once one of the uh, this is full we'll just turn it off to be honest okay just save some energy you know let your people's rest so let me think i might need some hydrogen do you think I'll need some hydrogen? 
Like I haven't got gotten to the point where you know where I uh, know what to do with hydrogen. To be honest, so yeah, maybe I'll save one for. I'll keep some ice. I think a hundred ice. Oh. Yeah, we'll transport the ice. And oh, we've transported probably all of the chiropods. But yeah, in terms of population, I think we're set, right? I'm gonna, just going to transfer some people. And I think Sector 2 needs more workers. Okay. So let's send more people to Sector 2. And we can... We have a 370 population limit. Sector 2. So as we wake up, people from the... Uh, Cryonic center uh, waking up all these cryo cryos uh, cryo parts is gonna send it to sector 2 okay oh we have a surplus of food let's see Yeah, making a lot of food. That's good. Like in this game, like food and alloy. The basic needs. I think people keep, you know, being born. So <laughs> I just need to fucking build a house here just have some extra lodging for those people yeah this is gonna be built in no time because we've got a bucket load of alloy and we've we've got like a bunch of iron uh, still to be picked up So yeah, what I mean, what do you guys? I mean, if if you're watching, I'm just wondering what you guys think of the layout. Is it good? I don't know, because I think most people don't do the these outer ring roads. I just like them. You know, I like to build um, because it's vertical, and I like to reserve a certain parts for certain types of buildings, like. Ah oh, man, I haven't been probing. Okay, okay. Let's see what else we can get. There's a lot of hydrogen. There's still a bunch of iron. So... We might need to prepare some... Uh, stock... What do you call these stockpiles for? alloy because we've got a lot of iron to convert and we have two steel the steel mills by the way one here and one here and of course we have an electronics factory that will convert uh, silicone to electronics and this is the polymer refinery that will convert carbon to what is this again polymer okay Okay, we've got enough water. Just need a hundred just to... For the future. Right. And... Carbon. Maybe I need to mine for carbon. 
But if I can remember, there's not a lot of carbon here. So we'll just keep on mining alloy, I think. Oh, uh, I broke the wrong thing. Let's set this to. Uh, we're probably probably gonna end up with it. alloy. The probe has completed its scan. So yeah. Even though I do need polymer uh, for the probes and uh, solar panels. So we're producing 120% of meal requirements. Do I need another mass haul? No available to mine. Well, not yet. Yeah, the mining is, yeah, takes quite. Even iron, we're running out of iron. But yeah, soon we'll, we're, we're, we're gonna just progress, right? In no time, we're gonna be finished plundering and we can progress to the next level. As you can see here, send an expedition to Jupiter, right? I wonder if I should stock up on food. Because I have five stockpiles for food. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. So yeah, I'm thinking like once I get the crop farm, uh, I got to reserve a place for the fusion. Something, something here. <laughs> And, or another another way I could do this is just abandon this as a you know open a new sector just make that into a crop farm and then delete all of these insect farms maybe keep like five because insects are always going to be there um, crop farms need water ice right so yeah that's why that's in that sense the insect farm is almost um, uh, an unlimited source of food but the people don't like eating insects <laughs> yeah um, if I'm in space I, I would try to get used to insects <laughs> okay so what have we unlocked here Colonization. This is gonna be for the next one. I'm gonna keep some science points. Yeah. So I don't want to spend it yet. So I can figure out what I will do. And mushroom wall is another one where it can convert waste into food. But this is the best one. Waste uh, treatment center. It can transform waste into alloy. Uh, stuff like that. Man, I'm bad at. Uh, multitasking I should be probing non-stop snow carbon whoa there's still iron iron deposits here I just saw a big one yeah right there so a big one Oh, I'm, and I'm watching the World Cup, by the way. It's like 1.14 minutes right now. It just started. France versus Morocco. Um, I don't know why I didn't mention that. Where's this? Oh, this is hard. I wish we could automate. Oh, I got it. This mini game. So there's still a lot of alloy to produce. Let's just keep that food up. Yeah. So we lock down some uh, some stockpiles with food and stuff. A probe has completed its scan. And 
let's just keep probing so there's no more carbon maybe we should mine for some silicon 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 how do you pronounce that where is this silicone deposit yeah there we go found it somewhere here sector one needs food okay yeah, that's fine So we do need a place to store hydrogen. So let's put it here. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna have a hundred hydrogen, a hundred silicone. Uh, we've got a hundred ice already. Let's lock down. And the downside to staying here is that uh, we've run out of. Uh, Cairo part so we don't have a lot of workers right well we do have a lot of work but what I'm trying to say is if we're not careful we will run out of workers but one thing we can do is switch off buildings if that happens so yeah this is it. This is the long haul. Uh, the long haul of plunder. Population transfer. I'm basically just bleeding this whole system dry. But to be uh, fair, this whole system is abandoned. Um, yeah, this whole system is abandoned. Everybody's just... The UN... I don't know if Dolos still exists. Marduk, whatever. And to be honest, I haven't been paying attention to the story, but yeah, it's abandoned. Yeah, we got some stockpiles that we can lock here. And it could probably move alloys to Oh, France Discord. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be an interesting game then. Yeah, so I've got 500, 600 now alloys. And another downside to staying is uh, you're bleeding alloy because you're repairing the hull. So we're just going to, once we get enough alloy. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Oh yeah, people are stopping here. Uh, nah, it's fine. So I think we found silicone. Uh, let's see if there's more iron deposits. Yeah, let's just bleed this place dry. And we don't even need to mine because as you can see there's like <laughs> thousands of iron right so basically france uh scored in the first the fifth minute okay our morocco has no choice but to just get out and attack Okay, so yeah, this I gotta max out the alloy. I mean the alloy. A probe has completed its scan. Request from sector two because sector two has a lot of space for alloy. Once we run out of space, we'll just go to Jupiter and. Yeah, we'll move on to the next one. Let's just prepare some stockpiles. So once we finish mining, 
we'll just uh, use up all of our space in the docking bay for cargo ships. Do, we, do I have another cargo ship? I don't think so. Might need to construct one and just start probe has completed its transporting stuff. I wonder if I'm missing out on an accident has occurred in the Titan. No, nah, I think I covered all of the uh what do you call these? Uh points of interest. I think I covered all of them. Yeah. Man, imagine going to the next system with like a thousand alloys. Do you know how happy I would be? Yeah. So just to recap from um, my game, which I played in my other channel, what happened was I was in chapter two. I ran out of iron deposits, couldn't make alloys, so I couldn't progress. Okay. That's what happened. So, so right now I'm just, you know, being an asshole. Plundering this system. Taking as much iron as I can. Much alloy as I can. Yeah. Yeah, let's lock some of these stockpiles. We still have a thousand and three uh, iron to collect. Oh, that's wild. That is wild. So let's ask this guy to collect silicone too so we can convert them to electronic yo we practically have a thousand alloys um let's see should i collect more I don't even think we need to mine anymore, but yeah, there's also like a thousand iron to collect. So, um, an accident has occurred in the tide. Let me have a think. Yeah, I think I should stop now. <laughs> it's it's too much. Maybe I don't even have space, or do I? Nope, I do not have space. And okay, let's save this game. Save this game. I name it Second Run. Um, okay, you guys ready? We're gonna go to Jupiter. Okay. And uh, this is how we do this. Uh, let me think. Um, no, 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 not yet, not yet. L let's, let's just fill everything up. First, okay. <laughs> let's just fill everything up. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can salvage some okay, some, some space and just kind of get. Let me see if this is due. All right? Yeah. Space here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll keep some. iron over there a probe has completed its scan we still have about a thousand iron that we can gather 
So, and once everything is full, I could probably change this to alloy. And I don't need polymer over here. I don't think so. Because I'm not building any ships. Oh, I might be building ships. Yeah, you know what? We're going to stop. We're actually going to stop mining. And we're going to build like a, uh, a cargo ship. And just collect a shitload of alloys. Okay. I don't know if this is how people play. I haven't had time to watch uh, Let's Plays because I didn't want spoilers and stuff. I want it to be fresh when I'm playing. I don't know how, if this is how people play. Like, do they just wait and collect uh, all these minerals? Or do they just progress? Like, my first few runs, I just progress. Has occurred in the tycoon and okay let's collect alloy and just alloy and that's it yep we have six ships just collecting iron right it's ridiculous Alright, so we'll just let this run. I don't even have any more alloy stockpiles here. And yeah, we're just gonna take a look at this over here. If you guys zoom in, you can see all the, the workers and stuff. I think that's kind of cool. It's just that it's a very locked angle. You can't, you know, move the camera around. Yeah, you can see all the workers, robots. And stuff. Okay, so we need polymer here. We, we're not probing, right? So you'll probably store some alloy here. Yeah. Food is fine. Alloy. Here, probably. Yeah, an alloy here. Let's do this. <laughs> um. I'm not probing, so let's do alloy here. And just watch this thing fill up. Okay, um you know what? I'm just impatient right now. So if you guys are ready, uh, let's make a move. Let's go for it, right? Okay, so how do we do this? I'm gonna move the Tycoon to Jupiter. Yo, I just love that animation right there. That's why I didn't say nothing. And all the uh, cargo ships are just rerouting. Yeah, it takes about two cycles and a half to get to Jupiter. When we get to Jupiter, we also have a lot of research points because we've been waiting for so long. And once we're here, Okay, so let's just read and summarize. So there's a black box that we got from Outer Hope. Okay, 
And with this, we located some construction facility on Jupiter. And blah, blah, blah. We ac access the site. And there's like a mausoleum. How do you pronounce that? Dedicated to Laura Falls. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, we were identified as Dolo's personnel. We got data records. And there's like an... So the site was used to construct. And it had like an advanced prototype of the Vohla engine. Code name Ixion, name of the game. So yeah, so one of our mining ships took the engine and we managed to extract I mean extraction procedure was a success and now we pre prepare Ixion for Tycoon connection so the Melons team there's a lot of names in this game the Melons team will work with Tycoon engineer to prepare the Ixion engine for connection to the station so our older faulty engine will be removed. You guys ready? I'm going to click on this. It'll take about three cycles. Yeah. So we'll get all the alloys we can get in these uh, three cycles. So yeah, T T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take off. Right. A science ship team has completed a task. Not really. <laughs> not really. Not take off yet. Um, what do I have to do? Oh yeah, I gotta click on this. Wait, I gotta... Working together, the crew of the Tycoon and the team of the Melon have prepared Ixion for connection. Final attachment protocols can be initiated if you... If you, you know what? I hope I have enough polymer or some shit. <laughs> because... Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna... Okay, this, I'm gonna dismantle the surplus equipment at the Hepaista site. Okay, we get an incoming transmission. Administrator, we have received a transmission from the Hephaestus PA. Oh, uh, this is the, the PA for this station. Let's listen to what she has to say. Tycoon, Ixion is now in orbit and ready for installation. You are not designed to calculate your own vol coordinates. Ixion will only permit you to use previously generated coordinates or to follow the vol signatures of others that have crossed self-similar space. To make your existence worthwhile, you will need to find the coordinates of the exoplanet that Protagoras is looking for, Remus. Vanya was right about the echoes of the future. I bestow upon you this miracle, and with it, Release myself so that I may embrace the sleep that was stolen from me. Okay, you know what? I kind of like all the PAs in this game. Like they have character, like <laughs> like a sullen kind of character to them. Okay, close transmission. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to wait for it. Let's see what's going on in the station. Yeah, we're still collecting stuff. And... We're not even maxed out. We have like 100, 200 around space. But that's, I'm just too impatient right now. Like, I just want to go to the next uh, system. Okay. So basically what the PA told me was like, I can't just simply go somewhere. I need, you know, we're trying to find this Pythagoras, whatever. A science ship team has completed a task. I need to find like traces of that place in order for me to 
stuff like that, I guess. So yeah, we have some stuff ready for extraction. Um, and we do have the ships that can extract these stuff. Food and uh, polymer, okay. So all my cargo ships are being mobilized. Look at that. Thing of beauty. Oh, oh, okay. Good defending. Now I'm watching the football. <laughs> France is still leading 1-0. Okay, is that all? Uh, we have some alloys, I guess. And I think we need to construct something. Uh, engines, yeah, the vo I hope I, I've got enough poly. Don't know if I've got enough poly. It's gonna be messed up if I don't have enough poly. Let's see. I think I do, but I'm not sure. If I don't have enough poly, I would probably need to, uh, find some carbon. Or it's just gonna be another fuck up on my part. Nah, it's no poly. Um, what happens if I... We have 15 here. Let's see. I need 20. I think I've got 15. And uh, let's see. <laughs> it's gonna be messed up if I don't have enough poly. I think I have enough. I should have enough. Let's see. in the tycoon. Can I just <laughs> unpack that probe just to get some polymer? Yeah, I do have polymer. I do have enough polymer. So all I gotta do now is transfer some polymer. Phew! Oh. That's a relief. <laughs> well, I'm a fucking idiot, man. I, I gotta tell you. I'm a fucking idiot. A new share. A new request right. awaits your attention. So there's a transmission here. Administrator, we are ready to follow the traces of the Protagoras through self-similar space using self the frequencies space. recovered from Outer Hope's black box. Vol systems have been adapted for the new Ixian class engine. The Tycoon is now fully equipped to pursue our main objective. Ensure okay. humanity's survival by finding the habitable exoplanet named Remus. Let's do this. I'm ready. You guys ready? Let's do this. Right. Okay. Charge. In accordance with Frau Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation.
Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Severe hull damage has been detected following self-similar traversal. Hypothesis. Each vol jump causes irreversible damage to the Tycoon structure. Predictive modeling suggests that four more vol jumps are possible before the Tycoon breaks apart. New mission objective established. The Protagoras possesses coordinates of the habitable exoplanet Remus. We must find the Protagoras in order to reach our destination. Okay, here we go. We are in a new system. All right, that was close. I'm telling you, I'm an idiot. Like I almost ran out of polymers. A new request awaits your attention. Uh, let's pause this game. And yeah, I mean, that was close, but we made it. Okay, I'll see you in the next game where we're going to be exploring this new system. Uh, see what we, we can do here. And then if we can progress to the next one too. But we got to... This is where I last, like... I never got out, got out of the system yet. After like trying and trying. So yeah, this is it. Right? <laughs> I got to get through this one. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.